I've been getting a lot of requests for me to do this. Teach you how to calculate the amount of blocks that you need when you're building your fence. But first of all, this information I'm going to give you is about blocks of these sizes. Uh, 150 mm block by 400 by 200 mm or a block that is 200 mm by 400 by 200 mm and here in Malawi we use the 150 mm by 400 by 200 block when we're building single story houses when I say single story houses it's houses that are not upstairs in order that are not double stories so we use the 150 the 200 mm is used for building houses that are double story or those houses that are being used in the, in the city when they're building like multi-story houses or sometimes when they're building hospitals or schools they use the 200 mm by 400 mm by 200 mm in other countries it doesn't matter like in Zambia I think I have heard that they use the 200 mm blocks even when they're building single story houses the fence that we are doing the calculation with is the most common fence which is 15 meter by uh, 30 like here in Malawi the most common fence that you get for small areas is 15 meter by 15 or uh, 15 meter 15 meter by 30 all right in Malawi and also I think in South Africa a panel that you use for building fences has to be 3 meters long and on that panel you can get up to 90 blocks that is a panel of about 2 meters high that you will get about 90 cement blocks so a panel is when you're building a fence you have a pillar and then you build a fence then you, you make another pillar and you build your fence and you make another pillar going like that normally some of the people when they're building a fence they don't make a pillar but they just partition this fence this, this faces as they go around. This is to ensure that when one panel falls, the whole, the whole face is not going to fall down. So this is called a panel. So when you're building using uh, cement blocks, a panel is supposed to be three meters. So on that three meter panel, you are going to get about 90 cement blocks. On this face, because we're looking at the face that is 15 by 30, it normally will have a gate, which is a, a main entrance where your vehicles are going to be going through. I'm just going to, to just approximate it that it is 2 meters. But normally it might be wider, it might be uh, maybe shorter, but I'm just going to use, for example, 2 meters. So we are going to have a face which is 15 meters by 30 but also has got an entrance of 2 meters so we want to know how many blocks we are going to be able to to use on this and then we want to make those blocks how much quality dust or sand do we need and how many bags of cement do we need so this whole um, session I'm going to teach you how to find out the amount of blocks that are going to be needed when you're building a 15 by 30 uh, plot and also how much quality dust will be needed for making the blocks and how many bags of cement will be needed for, um, build, uh, for making those blocks. I should have also added how much quality dust and cement you are going to need for you to be able to build with this amount of blocks that are going to be found here. Alright, so the fence is going to be 15 meters by 30. So, we take what are we going to do now? We're just going to calculate the parameter of that fence. So we just want to know how long this around the fence, how many meters it is. So what I've done here, I've added 15 uh, plus 30 multiplied by 2. So it is 15 plus 30 multiplied by 2. Or otherwise, we could have said 15, uh, 15 plus 30 plus 15 plus 30. It's going to give us 90. So the whole face the length is 90 meters but now we said the entrance is going to be two meters so normally the entrance is going to have a gate so you're not going to use blocks on that fence so we are subtracting 90 uh, minus 2 it gives us at 8 meters so we have at 8 meters uh, um, parameter 
for the for the fence at eight meters. So we want to know with that eight eight meters, how many blocks are we going to use? I have said already that a panel uh, of the fence is going to be three meters. So first of all, we need to know how many panels are going to be uh, are available here after taking the two meters. So we've taken the eight eight meters, which is the parameter, divided by three which is the length of a, of a panel, it's giving us 29.33 uh, panels. So I've just made it to the close, to the nearest, to, to make it 30 panels. So we are going to use the 30 panels as an example. So we are having 30 panels on this particular fence. Now, with the 30, 30 panels, we want to know now how many blocks are going to be on this fence. I've said that on a panel, of 3 meters, you normally use about 90 blocks, uh, 90 cement blocks. So what we're going to do is we're taking 30 multiplied by 90 is equal to 2,700 blocks. So you take 90 blocks because that is like almost three, 10 layers of blocks plus 2 that are going to go down as foundation. So you're going to use about 2,700 blocks. So this whole fence is going to need 2,700 blocks. Now we want to make the blocks. How much quality does uh, are we going to need? We are going to make the blocks now. We want to know how many, how many, how much quality does we going to need, and how many bags of cement we're going to use when we are making these blocks. Now I've I've been sharing the information about um, the amount of qualities you can get on a ton. If you can go on the previous videos of uh, how to start a cement block business, you will see that I've explained how, many, how much um, uh, qualities you have on a ton. So, on one ton, you are going to have 10 wheelbarrows of quality dust or sand. So, every, every ton that you get, you will be able to get 10 wheelbarrows of sand or 10 wheelbarrows of quality dust. Okay, now, like I've said here, we want to know how much quality does we need to manufacture these 2,700 blocks. I've just explained that on one time you're having 10 wheelbarrows of quality dust or sand. One bag of cement plus five wheelbarrows. So if you take one bag of cement and you put in five wheelbarrows of quality dust or sand, you're going to be able to make 35 blocks. So you'll be able to make 35 blocks. Two bags of cement, then we will, we will mean that we're going to use 10 wheelbarrows of quarter dust, which is going to give us 70 blocks, and also it is equal to one ton. Huh? So we know that the, on, on every ton, you got 10 wheelbarrows, but also on, on that every ton, you're going to be able to use two bags of cement, and on that one ton, you're going to make 70 blocks. So. Um, you will have about 70 blocks on that. So, now that we know that on one time we are going to get the 70 blocks of the 400 millimeter long blocks, um, we, we're going to now take that 2,700 divided by 70, which is uh, almost like one ton, we are going to get 38.57 tons. Uh, we are just giving it to the nearest because in Romare when you're buying those quarter tons, it, be, it might be difficult for you to buy as uh, 38 tons for a truck that is carrying 40 tons. So we're just putting it to the nearest to make it 40 tons. So you're going to need 40 tons to make those 2,700 blocks. But in actual sense, you will need 38 tons. But we're just putting it to the nearest to make it 40 tons. Now, we know that on each and every ton, we are using two bags of cement. So we're going to take two times 40 to give us 80 bags of cement. So this whole fence for you to build a wall, you are going to need uh, 80 bags of cement and you are also going to need 40 tons of quarry dust. In the next video, I'll be sharing with you how to do the calculations for how many bags of cement and quarry dust you need to build your fence.